I've been wanting to do this video for so long and I'm so excited to finally have a new Elena Dawson blazer. So let's talk Elena Dawson. What is up everybody, hope you're doing well. In today's video, this is kind of a special one and it's close to my heart because I've always been a big fan of Elena Dawson. Maybe for those who don't know, a couple of words to uh, Elena Dawson. So if you're like into avant-garde or like a certain aesthetic, certain sort of like niche of avant-garde, even though that's already a niche, right? And you're familiar with Paul Harden, you probably also know Elena Dawson, right? So Paul Harden is really like famous and has like this cult following, right? Of like Paul Harden enthusiasts and has like a certain aesthetic. So basically I would say Paul Harden is known for his like blazers and long coats and suits right so it's always like a he uses like ultra cool fabrics right like tweed linen wool and all that stuff yeah it has a certain aesthetic that is really like specific to paul harden and elena dawson used to work for or with paul harden and played like an integral role in the designs of the clothing line right so as you probably know if you're familiar with paul harden like the brand is called paul harden shoemakers right so Paul Harden is like a shoe, is a shoemaker from Canada. From what I've read, like he started a relationship with Elena Dawson, and then she sort of like started the clothing line of Paul Harden. And all of the like Paul Harden like purists or enthusiasts, like they always say that the years of release of products where Elena Dawson was on board were like the best pieces of clothing from Paul Harden. So anyway, she basically started the clothing line from Paul Harden, and then in 2006 she started her own label, Red Elena Dawson, her name, and she's based in England. She originally comes from England and definitely has like this, I don't know, Victorian sort of like romantic, poetic look to it, I guess. It's really hard to describe. To me, like looking or wearing a Elena Dawson piece is like reading a Charles Dickens novel, right? So it's super, like brings you back in time. I don't know, it's super hard, but it's super emotional as you can probably tell. And anyway, yeah, so she started her label back in 06. The aesthetic really is, a lot different in my opinion to the Paul Harden pieces, right? The Paul Harden pieces are, he has like a couple of models, right? They always have the same silhouette since day one, just use like different fabrics and stuff, but it's always like pretty clean, right? Like clean edges. You don't see a raw hem on Paul Harden, at least, at least I don't know. And as you can probably tell with Elena Dawson, like everything is like deconstructed and all, raw hems all over. And it looks like she started like making a jacket and then just in the middle of the process stopped doing it. And that's actually what she mentioned like in an interview that she at some point she just stops continuing with the jacket and then it's done. And that's what they look like, but I absolutely love the aesthetic. And I've had like four or five different blazers from Elena Dawson, I've always been a big fan. Unfortunately, I sold them, one of those things that I really regret. And I finally bought one back, right? So this is, it's such an amazing piece. So this is a, believe it or not, silk blazer, right? Raw hems, ultra big lapels, ultra deep black as well. I'm not sure if that comes across on camera because it's like all the lighting and stuff, but it's a deep, deep black. And it's not like a super shiny silk, right? Usually when you sit, when you think about like a silk blazer for men, you think like red carpet and I don't know, like bow tie kind of look, right? But this is a super like structured thick silk. It's not shiny at all. So I'm gonna wear this like day in and day out. Yeah, super excited about this one. Another note on sizing. So this is a size medium, right? And I don't know, to be honest, like for Elena Dawson, I've had everything from medium to extra large and they all kind of fit the same-ish, right? So if you are looking to buy Elena Dawson, either go to a store, buy it from there, try it on, buy it there. Or if you buy from Grailed or whatever, try to get the measurements. That's all I can say. So yeah, Elena Dawson, one of my favorite designers probably because of the aesthetic like the romance that is like presented <laughs> in the clothes i don't know as you probably know i've always had like a deep emotional connection like to all the clothing pieces that i have but for elena dawson it's probably one of the strongest emotional connections last year when i was in paris i went to Le Clarois, and weirdly enough elena dawson is not stocked in their herald like the the herald branch that they have right the store in herald avenue i think that's like their main avant-garde store and they have paul harden there and ccp and all those but paul harden is in that store and elena dawson is in a different branch from them i don't know why but i went there and i tried on the most beautiful tweet coat it was like a long gray tweet coat i tried to find a picture and and show it to you it was incredible and obviously raw hems and then had like a white lining and usually with elena 
Diana Dawson, like she has, or most of the time, white lining, and then you can like fold it, and then you see like the white lining exposed. So pretty cool. Anyway, so this coat was incredible. Unfortunately, ultra expensive, obviously, like when, I, when you buy retail, but I almost bought it because it was, oh, yeah, it was so amazing. Anyway, so, and speaking of coats, by the way, right, a friend of mine, so Elena Dawson also makes female stuff and pretty like romantic, like dresses and lots of like silk and wool and lacing, also deconstructing, of course. And a friend of mine has an ultra amazing coat from Elena Dawson. So it's an ultra long, like black coat with white lining. And yeah, I think like for women, beautiful pieces, incredibly like romantic, Victorian, sort of vibes and yeah she also makes shoes and everything in her own studio in south england to my knowledge right so she has like a small team that help her and yeah you can google her and like find a couple of pictures like of her atelier and stuff it's all handcrafted as you know i love handcrafted stuff and yeah beautiful vibes so anyway enough talking let me show you the blazer a bit more so as i said it's silk and by the way there are no labels, like there's one Elena Dawson label, but everything is like handwritten in here. And she has a horrible handwriting, so it's really hard to, to decipher. But it's, I think it says like 100% silk, then the lining is 100% cotton and size is medium. Right, you have the big lapels and then two buttons here, right, that basically have like, has this shape here. And there are two ways of buttoning it, right? So you can just like button it from the top It's closed like this. Or what I prefer is you basically fold both parts to the outside, right? And then it's sort of like this attached. Yeah, so ultra flexible piece, right? As I mentioned earlier, raw hems all over. And then what you also can do is you can fold up the lapels and then there's like a button here. So you can close it down to the top as well. And as I said, everything is like deconstructed and not fully finished. So if you look at the inside here, you see that the lining stops right here. And then you have like all the raw hams here. <laughs> and from the outside you have like the, you can see the raw ham as well. I actually prefer when there's white lining because then it's like the contrast, right? You have a black jacket and the white lining and the hams and everything like frays. But I think this looks beautiful as well. Beautiful shape top as well. So this is the label that I mentioned and then the handwriting here you see the medium and here 100% silk, 100% cotton and as I said it's like a super structured and thick silk right then you have one button here on the sleeve as well so pretty unique piece. Pretty dope fit. And it's ultra weird that this is a medium and it fits me perfectly, right? As you know, I'm 191 and like currently 90 kilograms, right? A bit on the heavier side these days. But yeah, that's a medium, it fits me. So don't go about sizing if you're interested in buying one. But yeah, I will rock this day in, day out. And the beautiful thing is, you know, almost like romantic thing, like it's a silk blazer and you can just wear it to the office and it doesn't look like a silk blazer. It's just like you're the only person who knows it's a silk blazer, but it looks like from far away, even like cotton, right? Because it's super structured. And yeah, ultra, ultra happy with this one. I hope you like it as well. Let me know down in the comments, right? Do, I, mean, I know like, especially like raw hams, like either you love them or you hate them. And I think like the people that are more into the avant-garde stuff on this channel, at least like they prefer the raw hams, but the tech war people usually don't like raw hams that much. So let me know down in the comments, like what do you think about the blazer? Have you heard of Elena Dawson before, right? Definitely check her out. And she's listed in all the major avant-garde stores, right? Like that Moscow and uh, Le Clareur, et cetera. And yes, 
Check Railt if you're interested in buying used, which I probably recommend because prices are pretty high, but still worth it to me. Like the, the, the quality is absolutely there. Anyway, guys, that was a quick one. Hope you enjoyed it. And yes, I'll see you next one. Cheers.